Look at my beautiful new anvil, picked up from one of my friends. Isn't it lovely? Welcome back guys to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, let's talk about burners. Let's go. So as you probably know uh, from the video, we are into a bit of forging, a bit of blacksmithing, and we use a little forge, which is over here, which was uh, purchased from Sam Fowler, I'll do a link down below, um, to do our, our forging. Um, the problem with the size of the forge that we've got, just show you there, is that it's quite small. Um, the hole that we actually forge in, if I just take the fire brick out, it's very tiny. This is probably two, two and a half inches across by about four, four and a half inches high. Now, as we get onto bigger things, hopefully uh, the power hammer's coming this month, so we're gonna get onto bigger things. We need a bit bigger forge in order to do that. So the idea is that we're gonna do a few videos now, a little series. Um, today, we're gonna talk about the burners, and I'll come to that in a second. Uh, the next video after that, we're gonna actually build ourselves a forge. So myself and Mini Dudes are gonna build ourselves a little forge. Um, it's gonna be probably twice the size of this one uh, over here. Um, and then the burners that we're gonna to make today, um, you can decide whether we use our own burners or purchase some burners. And again, I'll go through that in a moment. And then we're gonna build our own forge. Hopefully that'll be built before our power hammer arrives and then we can fire the both things up together and we can then start making Damascus, which is our ultimate goal. Additionally, with the burners, we'll be able to make a foundry. Um, I know the King of Random has done a, a foundry, so we're gonna be able to follow his idea on that. Now, our thoughts are that we've taken a load of copper piping, old copper piping out of the house here, and I've kept it in the garden, it's, it's behind the shed here. Now I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna make the foundry, and I'm gonna burn and, and melt all of that copper down in that foundry, and then we're gonna use it to make the Makumegane. So everything's starting to come together again. Anyway, let's talk burners. So this is our small burner. Um, what we have, we have a, a big gas cylinder here. Uh, we have a, 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 an arrestor here, which stops the flame if, if we have any accidents going back uh, into the, uh, the gas um, cylinder. And we have a regulator here to, to regulate the pressure. Um, so hoses that come up to a gas ball valve, so on and off. Um, then we have uh, a little connector, uh, I think it's a 10 mil connector or quarter inch connector into the pipe. Uh, that goes into uh, the elbow joint, into something called a venturi. This is a small venturi, if you compare it to the size of my hand, it's quite little. Uh, then into a small pipe, that's probably half inch pipe on this uh, particular burner, and then into the flare at the bottom. And then inside of the forge, you have a small hole um, and you have some fire bricks on the side, fire bricks on the bottom. So fire bricks on the side, fire bricks on the bottom. And then up here, you have the small hole where the flame comes out. Um, this is a very safe way of doing it with these Venturi burners. Um, like I say, you can buy them from Sam Fowler. I'll give you the link in between. Um, and you can control uh, the burn using uh, this, this little slippy disc here that, uh, that we can move around. Um, anyway, uh, there are a number of videos on the internet about making similar burners, and it's your choice whether you make your own or whether you purchase the burners. But let me show you my ideas. So, pipe. Uh, I think this is called nipple pipe. This is a piece of one inch nipple pipe. Um, this is a one and a half inch to one inch, um, what, which will become our flare. We can have a bigger one or we have a smaller one, but they both connect onto one inch. We then have uh, another one and uh, I think it's one and a quarter. Uh, no, one and a half inch um, flare, again, pipe that you can use on the top. Now the idea that I've seen for this is idea number one, is that you can drill some holes inside of this, four holes, and you can tap those. And then you can use some M5 bolts to go through into the flare and hold um, a particular unit, which I'll show you in a moment, which can then direct the flame down. So, like Blue Peter, this is one I have prepared earlier. So, we have drilled and tapped all the way around, so all the four sides, as you can see on there. Um, and what we can do, we can now twist these screws in and out because they are tap and eyed. We can twist them in and out. We can adjust whatever we put in here. 
So the idea is now we need to get a component which will sit in here, which will connect up onto a U-band and go to the gas. What I have found on that there internet are these. These are little, I think they're quarter inch if I remember correctly, connectors. Now what my thoughts are um, is to get something like a, a brass end nipple, put it into here, um, tap and die into there and then put into the end of there a MIG tip. And I have seen this done. Um, providing it's sealed and that fits into there, then you should be able to house this into, into here, aligning it using these M5, um, uh, these M5 bolts, and then be able to connect up onto the gas on the top. Again, in very much Blue Peter style, we have done one. So um, I've put some uh, gas proof uh, tape on the inside of here and also around the inside of the MIG tip, as you can see there. Now these are 0.6, no, sorry, I beg your pardon, these are 0.9 MIG tips. I've got two different sizes, that's a 0.9, and I believe uh, the other ones are 1.0, so they're a lot bigger. Um, and we can try different flares out of these, different gases out of these, to see, if, uh, see what the difference is, only 0.1 of a mil difference. So, what we're gonna do now is uh, connect this into here. Now, as I mentioned, there's uh, a way of doing it. So, if we turn it over, we take our end, and I'll just show you on top. We can center this, and then we can use and just these M5 bolts here. We can uh, use these M5 bolts here to make sure it's dead center and dead level. I'm just gonna do that off camera. Okay, I've now centered it. As you can see, it's lovely and centered, and it's flat on this top here. And you can see all the way down, you can probably see a little hole through there you go, that's where the gas is going to flow. So let's now connect this onto the one inch nipple. So what we'll do, here we go, connect it onto here. Connect a flare, we've got a, what's this, this is one and a quarter inch flare, connect it onto the bottom. And we tighten those two up. And that's the basic part of our burner. Next thing. Now we've got to there, we need to come out of the top here and we need to have a pipe going to the right. Okay, how do we get from here to a right angle? Well, we've got a quarter inch brass connector. Um, ideally, these will all have uh, the tape added. We pop that into the top there. So these are all quarter inch. I'll tighten this all up off the camera. And then we have an elbow, a brass elbow. So we tighten this up onto here. That then allows us to come off on the side. There we go. So now we need to put another quarter inch in here and then we'll put the ball joint in. So let me just do that. Okay, so we've got a, another quarter. We will put the gas, and it has to be gas, PTFT, PTFE tape on this. So there's a special tape. And this is it. This is for gas, okay? Gas quality PTFE. Do not use normal PTFE tape on this. Okay, we'll put this on afterwards, but I'm just going to show you it rigged up. So we've got another quarter inch to show you that. That connects into here. Then we have a gas valve. This is a gas ball valve. That connects into here. There we go. So that's uh, shut and that's open. And then we can connect our gas into here and off we go, we have a burner. Now the other thing that they have on the Venturis is a cover on here. So what I've seen, <laughs> this is an old tuna cover in. If we cut this, we then can do a little um, U-shape in here. We can then control how much gas comes in and out based on this tuner lid. So I'm going to cut that out in a moment. But that, if I lay it down, is the general principle of our burner. What I'll do now, I'll put the PTFE tape on all of these connections and then we will connect up to the gas and I'll show you it working. Okay, so if we've put the gas PTFE tape on the connection, so uh, hopefully no gas will leak. And what we'll do, we'll get some soapy water and we'll spray it on here just to make sure no gas comes out. Next thing we're going to do is make a cover because in here, this is where the air mixes air mixes with the gas and there'll be too much air in it. So this is no tuna lid. Um, I'm going to cut out around here in like a U shape so that can slide in the side out. We can control the gas. So that way we can regulate the gas by opening it or closing it. And that is version one of our burner. We will rig it up and give it a try.
Okay guys, a disclaimer before we go any further. If you make your own burners, you do so at your own risk. I take zero responsibility for anything that happens. That being said, we have our burner rigged up onto the gas. We have connected in with the arrestor in to protect it. To protect it, we have the arrestor in. We turn the gas on and what we've got, we have some bubbly water here and we put this on all of the connections to make sure that none of the connections are bubbling. If they're bubbling, you don't have a seal. This is really important. This is part of being as safe as you can considering what we're building. Okay, I'm just gonna get the, uh, the cover. Okay guys, so we've got our little plate on the back. The gas is on, there's no bubble, so as far as we can be, we're pretty safe. Um, we're gonna open up the gas a little bit. And light our burner. That's only on the side, a little bit of gas. So I'm gonna open it up. I don't know if you can hear me, but by lifting this gas, this plate off here, you get more air and a bigger burn. So guys, that's our burner. You can see it gets a bit hot. It works. This is version one of the burner. I'm going to show you next week how to do a different burner, which is a little bit more safe. And then on the third week, I'll show you another burner again. So if you want to make your own burners, that's how to do it. In the description below, I'll put all of the components that we've used for this particular build. Again, just to reiterate, if you do this, you do this at your own risk. But you can use these burners in things like a foundry and a forge. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, many dudes, for helping. Uh, any questions or queries, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.